Getting ready for random number three. It's a rectangle with random width. Every time you run it, the rectangle will be a different width. So I'm going to, first of all, hit remix, and I'm going to hit rename, and this is going to be random number three. Save that. And now it's time to make some changes. I'm going to pull this ellipse command off. I do not want that ellipse command anymore. Now I'm pretty happy with my background color, my stroke color, my fill color, and my stroke weight. You know what? Just changed my mind. I'm going to bump the stroke weight up just a little bit. All right. And you can change any of that that you want on any program that you want. Now what we're going to do is bring over a rectangle command. And here's what I'm going to plug in. And this is all fed for you on the handout. I'm going to put the X at 0, I'm going to put the Y at 150, I'm going to put the uh, width, that's the next number coming up, that's going to be the random number. Alright, so I'm going to go to the math drawer, I'm going to grab my random number block and drop the random number in the third box because that's where width is and that's the thing I want to be random. I'm going to set the limits for my random number, the lowest possible number 0, the highest possible number 400. And then for the height of the rectangle, I'm just going to go with 100. Let's just do some run and reset run and reset run and reset run. And you're going to see rectangles of varying width. Some of them are really wide and they stretch way out. And some of them are not. They don't stretch out very far at all because it's, guess what, random. All right. So if you get a result, something like what you're seeing here is I hit reset, run, reset, run, reset, run. That yellow bar is a different size every time. You've done it. This one's over.